Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Nidhi Taneja. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 1st of February. Farming sector, rural population get boost in India's Budget 2017. Four Islamist militants held in Bangladesh. Hindu devotees mark Spring Festival by bathing in holy waters. And now for all the details. The union budget for 2017 was presented by Indian Finance Minister in the lower house of the Parliament or Lok Sabha on Wednesday. It was off to a positive start as the stock markets rejoiced. Number of tribunals. The 2017 Union Budget was presented by Indian Finance Minister Arun Jaitley on Wednesday with key announcements in taxes, railways and agriculture. Terming this budget as one for the poor, Jaitley announced a 24% hike in rural and farm spending to double farm incomes over five years. This was also the first time in 92 years that the railway budget was presented together with the union budget. India stands out as a bright spot in the world economic landscape. India's macroeconomic stability continues to be the foundation of our economic success. CPI inflation declined from 6% in July 2016 to 3.4% in December 2016 and is expected to remain within the RBI's mandated range of 2 to 6 percent. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said the 2017 budget would facilitate the changes that India was going through and was devoted to the well-being of farmers and job creation. This budget is a big step for the This budget is रोजगार के नए अवसर पैदा होंगे संपूर्ण आर्थिक विकास में मदद मिलेगी किसानों की आमदनी बढ़ाने में यह पूरक होगा द इंडियन स्टॉक मार्केट्स रिएक्टेड पॉजिटिवली टू द बजट 2017 बोथ सेंसेक्स एंड निफ्टी रोज स्टेडली एंड रजिस्टर्ड गेन्स ऑफ अराउंड 1% बाय द एंड ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन this year's budget was followed by the demonetization move by the federal government on November 8, 2016, which tendered invalid 500 and 1,000 rupee notes. Staying on to news from India, India's northern province of Uttarakhand is set to go to polls in a fortnight. As the voting day approaches, we give you a general view of the election campaign. The Uttarakhand province in northern India will go to polls on 15th of February. The stage is set for the fourth provincial elections after 16 years of its formation. Traditional rivals the Bharatiya Janata Party or BJP and the Congress Party are the major contenders for the 17-member assembly. The Uttarakhand elections are said to be interesting as prominent Congress rebels are contesting as BJP candidates. Facing a tough fight, incumbent Chief Minister Harish Rawat promised to continue developmental works. Uttarakhand, often referred to as the land of gods, was bifurcated from Uttar Pradesh province more than 16 years ago and formed on November 9, 2000. These provincial elections will be shaped by the general perception that the hill districts have been neglected in favour of plains. The results will be announced in mid-March. Moving on to news from Afghanistan. Afghanistan's modern history has been shaped by decades of conflict and extreme natural disasters. And Afghan children have been the most affected ones by the conflict. 
Afghanistan Independent Human Rights Commission in its report expressed serious concerns of Afghan children employed as laborers. The Afghanistan Independent Human Rights Commission or AIHRC on Tuesday said that there are serious concerns about the lives of between 300,000 and 500,000 Afghan children employed as laborers or work on the streets. The AIHRC stated that the issue of child labor affects hundreds of thousands of children who are deprived of a formal education. The report also highlighted that the Afghan government and the International Children's Rights Group have failed to address the plight of these children. The Afghan authorities, however, claim that the number of street children have decreased in the country. Meanwhile, the federal government of Islamabad has failed to resolve the power crisis of Gilgit Baltistan. Despite being an abundant reserve of natural resources, the region faces long hours of power cuts. People in Gilgit Baltistan are experiencing long and persistent power cuts. Over 140 million Pakistanis either have no access to the power grid or suffer over 12 hours of power cuts daily. जो ना सर्दियों में बारिशों की वजह से यहाँ पर जो है लकड़ी की भी किल्लत होती है जंगलात की कटाई जो है ना नहीं होती अगर बिजली वाफर मिकदार में यहाँ पर होती तो बहुत ज़्यादा लोड शेडिंग होती 18-18 घंटे तक की लोड शेडिंग यहाँ पर होती है और किसी को पता नहीं होता है बाज इलाकों में बाज जगहों में तो हफ्ते हफ्ते तक बिजली नहीं होती Locals allege mismanagement and corruption on part of the authorities as large sums of money are used for repair and maintenance of the existing power generators instead of purchasing new ones. बहुत ज़्यादा आरसे से कि भाई एक गवर्नमेंट आएगी वो जो है ना मसाइल को हल करेगी दूसरी गवर्नमेंट आएगी वो मसाइल को हल करेगी ठीक है ना तो इसी तरह से वादों पर ऐतबार करते हुए हमारे लोगों ने जो भी जमात वफाक में आई उसको نظریات سے بالاتر ہو کر اس کو ووٹ کیا تاکہ یہ ہمارے مسائل حل کریں پیپل آف گلگت بلتستان وچ واس اللیگلی انیکسٹ پائی پاکستان مور دن سکس ڈیکیٹس اگو سی دا پاکستان گاورمنٹ اس لیسٹ انٹرسٹڈ ان دی ویل فیر آف دا پیپل اور اس اونلی آئنگ چائنیز انویسمنٹ موینگ آن ٹو نیوز ٹرم بانگلہ دیش Four suspected members of a new faction of banned militant outfit Jamaat al-Mujahideen Bangladesh or Neo-JMB have been arrested by the Rapid Action Battalion from a house in Jatrabari area of capital Dhaka. They were arrested with firearms and huge amount of explosives from the rented house on early Wednesday. A police official was quoted as saying the militants introduced themselves as construction workers and were suspected of planning attacks. The police have also detained the owner of the house and a tenant for interrogation. Staying on to news from Bangladesh. Bangladesh authorities are pushing ahead with the plan to relocate tens of thousands of Rohingya refugees to an island in Bay of Bengal. Bangladesh is planning to relocate thousands of Rohingya refugees from Myanmar to a remote island in the Bay of Bengal despite warning that it is uninhabitable and prone to flooding. A committee has been set up to identify and relocate unregistered Myanmar nationals to a 6,000-acre Thengarchar island in the Bay of Bengal. Most of the Rohingya refugees live in a squalid camps in Cox's Bazar district of Bangladesh, which is the country's biggest tourist resort. The relocation plan was last proposed in 2015, but the government suspended it following criticism from international aid groups and rights activists. But the idea was once again toyed upon after more than 65,000 Rohingyas arrived from Myanmar last October. And the talks of forced relocation have worried Rohingya refugees who have lived in Bangladesh for over two decades. Taking a holy dip or bath in river Ganges is one of the most important rituals in Hinduism. Hindu devotees on Wednesday marked the beginning of the spring festival Basant Panchmi, taking holy dip in northern Uttar Pradesh province. Hindu devotees converged at the banks of Sangam, the confluence of river Ganges, Yamuna and mythical Saraswati in India's northern Allahabad city on Wednesday to take a dip in the holy waters on the occasion of spring festival Basant Panchami. 
Basant Panchami marks the onset of spring season. People and priests made their way to the banks before the break of the dawn. The devotees braved freezing temperatures as they bathed in Sangam and offered prayers. Several young children who arrived with their parents to take the holy dip were seen performing rituals and praying. यहाँ आज बसंत पंचमी का अवसर है और हम यहाँ नहा करके अभी जाएंगे हम बालक हमें हमारी बुद्धि बढ़े और अभी हमारे हुए यहाँ गंगा जमुने सोसाइटी नहा के जाएंगे अभी सोसाइटी में यह भी पूजा पाठ करेंगे हमने कामना की कि हमारे मतलब बच्चे और बड़े सब यहाँ पे सुख शांति से वो करें और गंगा नहा के आराम से घर पर जाएं और देश के लिए अपना वो करें द रिचुअल स्टार्ट अर्ली मॉर्निंग एंड लास्ट टिल मिड डे विथ प्रेस चैंटिंग हिम्स On this day people dressed in yellow which is the color of spring and prepare a variety of sweets flavor with saffron. Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening before we conclude the top stories once again. Farming sector rural population get boost in India's budget 2017. Four Islamist militants held in Bangladesh. And Hindu devotees mark spring festival by bathing in holy waters. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com/sajanewsline and follow us on Twitter at sajanewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.